Hey yo, what's good, new gang? Today I'm gonna write it to Devante the One, my sus dentist. Animated story. If y'all new to the channel, subscribe, smash the like button, comment down below what you guys wanna see next. And let's get it. So before I publicly embarrass myself for the 50th time, I let your boy on Twitch. I just started this Twitch like a week ago. Yo. To make it the fourth home of our clan, the Mellow Mafia, aka DTO, besides my main channel, yes, Instagram, sir. and my gaming channel. As OGs know already that we've had many W streams and many chill streams. And it'd be dope to have the rest of DTO come and chill and grow with us. The stream schedule is Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays around 7 to 10 p.m. Central. It really depends. Like, I won't limit the stream to just the schedule. I'm gonna yeah. stream on day that aren't those as well <laughs> i appreciate y'all road to 500k all right Back get it publicly embarrassing myself for the 50th time all right so i remember this one time my parents took me to the dentist to get my cavity filled right and this was around the time before i had my braces transitioning from looking like mr Krabs into looking like chip skylark the thing <laughs> is if i didn't get my tooth filled I couldn't get my braces, so that's how all this connects. My dad always worked late, my mom got off early, so she took me. And usually, there'd be a lot of very Caucasian dentist spots around. You know the ones where you walk in, probably smells like unseasoned food and off-brand air freshener. Every <laughs> staff member be trying to keep things professional by being overly nice to you with the Hi, how are you? voice. Probably give you a peppermint before you walk out the door. Instead of going to one of those, my mom wanted to support black businesses by going to a black-owned dentist as soon as one popped up in our city and yeah. me being who i was back then I, I didn't really think much of it i just wanted to get in there get my two done get out and i didn't care who i went to because at the end of the day they all do the same job yep. now when it comes to business and keeping some are better than some are better than other but pretty much you know what i'm saying customers happy i don't care if they look like the humpback of notre dame keep it respectful and professional 24 7. Yep. otherwise ain't nobody gonna take you serious this yep. is what i thought this specific dentist <laughs> understood but apparently this was not the case i remember it like it was yesterday but i can't remember what day of the week it was so <laughs> bear with me we had just pulled up to the building right after school remember what bear day with me week it was so bear with me we <laughs> Just pulled up to the building right after school. We walked in. First thing I see, a lot of chairs, a fish tank, a flat screen TV, and a window. Typical. Like Sign-ins. The door Typical. next to it. And I ain't gonna lie, it smelled divine in there. But that didn't <laughs> take away from the fact that something still smelled fishy. I mean, it is a fish tank in there. <laughs> what did you expect? Did I ask for your input? <laughs> Scramble like an egg before you get folded like an omelet. My bad, my bad. Ooh. Anywho, I go sit down. My mom signs me in and tells them specifically that she wants them to put composite fillings, not almagam or ceramic fillings in my mouth. Next thing I know, my mom starts talking to the lady up front. And of course, my... Look at this nigga minding his business, bro. <laughs> Feelings in my mouth. Next thing I know, my mom starts talking to the lady up front, and of course, my nosy self acting like my headphones was playing music the whole time I was listening to that conversation. Oh, girl, he looked just like you. How old is he? He just turned 16. Oh, Lord Jesus, time fly by so fast. Mm -hmm. He getting on up there. Um, Devontae? That's me. Come right this way, room four. The dentist will be right with you momentarily. As I'm walking through the door, I hear the window lady talking on the phone in an entirely different tone. Bruh, it literally sounded just like the people over at the Caucasian dentist. Real boring, real dry. And when she got off the phone, she switched back to her actual tone. You know, yeah. talking with a little flavor, some yeah. sugar, some spice, yeah. everything nice. <laughs> Probably a little sprinkle of chemical X somewhere in the mix. <laughs> that, my friends, is what you call code switching. My parents did it all all the time. So useful when keeping it professional. Stop all the running and hollering in my house before I give y'all something to run and holler about. Uh, yes, may I speak uh, to uh, Mrs. The One? Um, yes, she is speaking. <laughs> hey, who snuck a second fish after I told y'all to only get one? Somebody better fess up or I'm gonna get my belt and everybody's gonna say hello to my little friend. Uh, <clears throat> Um, yes, this is Mr. The One speaking. I get to the <laughs> floor, sit in the dentist seat, and wait for old dude. Yeah. To lick block. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. Never fear, the dentist is here. How you doing, young blood? I'm good. How y'all they been? Trying to be all nice and slick. 
<laughs> Great. So I see you. Huh? Huh? <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't catch that. <laughs> what you say? I said, great. I see you're new. Um, Cut. okay. Yeah, this is my first time. Not gonna lie. That was, that was kind of sus. I know what he said. I just wanted to play dumb and act like it never happened to test him to see what he'd say next. Yeah. So he walks over to his counter and starts preparing his tools and stuff. We having a conversation and he giggling and cracking jokes, which is cool and all. I didn't mind a dentist doing that, but the problem was that the jokes weren't regular jokes. They were like jokes that sounded like he was indirectly roasting me. And my first instinct was to uh, roast back, but I realized that this is my dentist. He really thought I wasn't catching on to how he delivered them. But no, 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 no. My Sean gun is always active, my boy. This man was literally roasting me and trying to be sneaky with it. Wow. My nigga, you sussy baka. I wanted to address it, you know, be like, hey, nigga, shut up. Just do my teeth. But I was too focused on just getting this over with and getting out fast as yep. possible. So I just let it slide. Then things got... I would have said some shit at the end, and I hope you didn't. Weirder. <laughs> Y'all either gonna laugh or be like, dang, cause what he said next, some of y'all probably gonna be thinking, no, a dentist would never do this. No, a dentist would do this and he did do this. I put this on everything I love. This nigga literally said this during our awkward silence. Ooh wee, boy, you got a face only your mama could love. Is this nigga serious? I didn't know I came here to be disrespected by that. Wait a damn minute. That's the deal right there. I got Hell the no. Dude put more energy into roasting all day than he did with his own wife and kids. I ain't gonna <laughs> lie. It did get to me just a little bit, but I did a good job hiding it. Like, bro, if I look like a Ninja Turtle, wait till I see you on the streets to say it. Not at the place of business. Your yep. job is to make sure my teeth are filled and shut up. Not break my self-esteem down, dog. Outside, that's fine. But you at work, nigga, keep it professional. <laughs> Can you imagine paying money to someone to do a job for you just to get disrespected at point blank range? I know a lot of y'all expected me to roast him back or get violent, but I didn't realize how much self-control I had until that day because you know what I did? I didn't get pissed, stir up conflict and leave. I didn't roast him back. I was a very different person back then. I just simply stayed quiet. Didn't say a word all the way up until he was done. This right here was traumatized 16 year old me. Back when I finally became aware of my past anger issues before then. You know what's crazy, bro? He probably did that with other patients, right? That man probably hurting right now. He's probably not working at the dentist no more. And if he is, no one wants to go to him because of that. You know what I'm saying? Just struggling. Over time, transformed me into a person that would choose peace even when disrespected because I was afraid of starting conflict that I knew was gonna get ugly and I didn't wanna deal with. Back then, I was a sensitive, angry, emotionally unstable kid growing up. That's why I always kept my emotions in check. I wasn't afraid of anything or anybody. Yep. I was afraid of what I'ma do to somebody yep. for yep. anything. I knew. <laughs> that us. Courage starts with the risk. Knew if I would have lost my cool, then somebody besides me would have been 32 feet under. Had it been 14 year old me instead of 16 year old me, that room would have turned into a thug nigga right. music video because these hands <laughs> did not discriminate. Now, had it been my homies, right. I would have brushed it off and just roasted them back like, ah, boy, I know you ain't talking. No. Over there built like a depressed Pop Tart popping up her 30. <laughs> but this was my dentist. I was 16 back then. He was 59. Shut up and do my teeth. Like, nigga, if you don't go Yo. read the newspaper or knit a sweater or something, nigga. When I got done, I didn't even say a word to him or nobody else. Just walked out to my mom and acted like everything was fine. Didn't even tell her what happened. And you know what makes this even worse? When I got back to the car, my mom wanted to see the work they did with my feelings and noticed they did the exact opposite of what she told them to do. They put the wrong feelings in. And she was angered big fella she went back uh, inside and made them schedule a new appointment to fix what they did and put the correct feelings in for free and after that we never went back <laughs> ever after look at that, that he fucked up you know like like i was saying before he's doing all of that all of that people probably don't want to go to him he's struggling he's probably not even in the field you know what i'm saying that's crazy 
for free. And after that, we never went back. Tough. Ever. After that day, I still kept quiet. I didn't tell my mama about what happened until I was 20 years old, four years later. And she was angered, big fella. She wondered why I kept it to myself. And I had to explain <laughs> to her that I didn't want to stir up chaos because I knew she would get mad and raise hell. But just like she did when they did it wrong, bro, it would have been a whole different story because now you're disrespecting her child. You know what I'm saying? was still pissed because she did it anyway because of the mess up see she's the type of person that will like me choose peace but unlike 16 year old me she ain't afraid to raise hell when disrespected yep. <laughs> that's the person i learned from and yep. it's the exact same way to this day crazy crazy bro crazy it'd be it'd be those people bro you know what i'm saying they like they talk a lot they act a lot you know what i'm saying but who knows maybe if you did confront him he was gonna be on some like whoa take it easy bro like on some scary shit you know what i'm saying that's crazy bro you gotta face only mother could love never the dentist disrespected you like that dog he had a body man a depressed pop tart pop it <laughs> pop it up for 30. <laughs> you sussy baka bro this nigga bro Yo, well, what y'all doing in that situation? You know what I'm saying? I, I feel him, you know, you gotta be real. You just gotta be calm, especially in that situation. It's like, all right, they working, like, they doing something to you, pause. I don't know. You know, you're getting your teeth fixed or they get, you're getting checked by a health, uh, a health physician. Physician? Physicist? I don't, I don't know what the fuck word. Uh, uh, your, your doctor, right? A doctor. Um, maybe surgery, whatever, and they just sit in there disrespecting you. It's like, all right, bro, like, first of all, shut the fuck up. Do your job so I can get the fuck out of here. You know what I'm saying? Because I could really, I could turn this bitch upside down type of shit. But let me not, you know what I'm saying? Let me not. But what you guys doing in that situation, bro? That's my reaction. If y'all enjoyed, give this video a like, subscribe if you haven't, and I'm out.